Hey guys, it's Pat here and uh, today I want to continue my sort of discussion about the Australian NBN and uh, what I want to talk about today and kind of show you how, uh, but there was a few disclaimers that I want to mention, is how to check what speed your line can actually get on the NBN in Australia. Now it doesn't matter if you're on the NBN to the fiber or on the NBN to the uh, node or the soon to come curb or you're some sort of different version of the NBN. I mean, there's so many now that it's getting a little bit ridiculous. So what I want to show you is uh, I've actually come from an NBN that was uh, and I was able to get 96 um, megs down and uh, I think it was 39 up on a plan that was 100 to 40. So that was a pretty good deal. I was pretty much paying for um, what I can get and that's with Aussie Broadband. So guys, if um, I'm not being sponsored by them at all, but I've had a very good experience with them. I've had a terrible experience with Ionet in the last two years. So that's why I switched to Aussie Broadband. So what I'm going to first show you is uh, actually my speed that is currently here uh, at this premises um, and uh, this is NBN to the node uh, so basically there's a cable running from down the street into my house and it's made of copper but there's fiber to the box now 29 megs is a lot better than um, ADSL 2 plus obviously um, but it is nothing that the NBN uh, you know should be able to do it should be a lot better and a lot of people are struggling with speeds much lower than this so my download is 29.8, so let's say it's 30 megs, and uh, my upload is about 18. Now, I'm paying for a plan that's actually 50 uh, down and 25 up. Um, now, the next plan down is 25 and 5 up. Now, I do use a lot of upload, so I wanted a faster upload, and that's why I'm paying for that plan. Um, obviously, I'm not getting 50, which is, I'm kind of losing out on about, you know, 20 megabytes worth of value here um but you know this is this is a pretty good speed what what i can deal with and say okay it's okay so let's go into how to find out what your max line speed is and then i'll talk about what can uh, vary this speed and how you can actually help yourself potentially if you're a bit techy so what i'm going to do is uh, i'll navigate to my login for my uh, adsl modem um why i say adsl is because it is actually an adsl slash dsl slash um nbn ready it's um a very uh, different modem than what you have for just purely uh, nbn fiber so this is a little bit different so usually most of the time it'll be at an address like 192 dot one six eight dot oh dot one um you might be ten dot zero 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 one you this is something i cannot help you with but it's something that's on the back uh, on the bottom of your actual modem it should tell you where to get on the administrator and i've got a login i've got a password obviously there is some stuff here that's gonna be uh, grayed out for uh you know look it doesn't really matter probably people can't do anything with it but i'll gray it out anyway so what do we've got here? We've got a few options. Now this will be different in every one of the modems you pick up. This is an ASUS DSL AC52U, um, a very popular brand uh, of modem in general. Uh, it's actually been very good for me. I've, I'm very happy with it. Um, and it's got a few extra features that I've really, really liked to use. But where I'm gonna navigate to, and I'm pretty sure if you can find this in your um, settings yourself, um, there is probably a reason you might go on a forum and actually ask. But what I want you to look for is actually the system log. It's a DSL log and it's all about your connection. And it tells you how long you've been uh, connected, what kind of DSL modulation, the region you're in. This is just dependent on what we're in Australia, so it'll be um, A, B, or C. The current profile is 17A. So if you're on the NBN, it's always going to be 17A. Um, and here is the real reason I want to talk about in this video. And this is really what your speed can be or the potential could be. And it gives you two rates. It gives you a data rate and it gives you a max rate. As you can see, my data rate, 32 megabytes. So what you saw before was actually pretty much 29. So we're not far off, but we're pretty far off the max rate. Now the upload is 19 on both, which basically means that is the maximum I can, I can get. Now remember, going back as an uploading really depends on the power you have in your modem, uh, something that you can't really change, uh, but it is something that will always be lower than your download, uh, depending on what kind of connection you have, what kind of modem you have. Uh, but most of the time, the upload is, is never necessarily having to be high. You can definitely stream your Netflix with this rate, 32, um, and obviously 43 would be much better. 
Now, what does this really mean? What, what's the difference in data rate and max rate? Well, data rate is what you are connected to right now, um, which means basically that is the maximum I can get connected right now. Now, if I disconnect from the internet right now and refresh and restart the modem, this will change. This could be a different number altogether because at that point in time when it's connecting, it's gonna get a rate of whatever it is going to, and it's gonna stick to it for then. But then a restart will actually refresh the connection. And that's why some people say, oh, you're getting a slow connection, just restart your modem. It just basically means that it reconnects and potentially gets a better uh, connection. It might even get a better slot. Uh, think about it that there's, you know, limited amount of slots and once your one has been connected for a long time, it might get slowed. I'm not saying that uh, ISPs do that, but it can happen. Your max rate, on the other hand, is the maximum connection speed that your modem can actually uh, feel or rather, um, you know, technically understand it can go. Now, when I had my NBN uh, on the fiber, I could see it goes actually 99, uh, which was, you know, pretty good and it was 96. So it's not so much the, um, the actual speed you're getting from the internet, it's the max rate of your line. This is what's important and this is a lot, this is where the confusion comes from with a lot of people saying, oh, I'm paying for 100 megs, but I'm only getting 15. What you have to do is you have to check your max rate, especially if you're on the stupid version of NBN, which is the NBN fiber to the node, because that is completely governed by your copper cable quality. So what can you do to get from this to at least this? Well, there's a few things. If you're an older home like me, for example, uh, you can actually go into your roof Cut the line to any of the other phone points in your other rooms and just make one single port going straight into the same single cable line that's going outside into the box, uh, the, the actual com box outside your home. If you can do that, you can get a lot closer to this and in fact potentially improve it in general. Every time you have another port in your room, this is gonna get slower and slower. And this is specifically about NBN to the node. It's just copper technology. Every time you, you have to split the power, which is your SNR, um, it, basically your SNR is how much I guess um, the modulation there is is on the on the line. Um, it, it really depends on the power. Like um, if if the if the copper cable is very clean, it's very new. This should be uh, a lot lower, um, meaning you'll get higher speeds. Now this power here, look, to be honest, I have no idea what this SNR is the only one I've been told about and it really makes sense. Um, the lower, the better on this. So basically to get to this, all you really have to do, and I know it's a tough call, um, but make sure that your line that you're connected to is absolutely the best line in the house. For example, if I moved my modem to my bedroom, I would be getting 55 on here on the max rate and uh, 35 on the data rate. So it's it's interesting that just going to a different room will, will change that. It just means that my cables up in the roof are terribly, terribly connected and it just needs somebody, which will probably be me, to go and fix it. Guys, this has been a quick video to show you how to get your max rate and your current data rate from a modem such as the ASUS DSL da 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 52U. This is not gonna be the same for other modems, but every single NBN um, fiber to the node ready modem that has a DSL line, because that's what you gotta use. You gotta use a copper line has this, they have to have this. And this is where you can check the exact stats. Don't check with your ISP. They're not gonna tell you the truth because, well, they probably might check, you know, tell you the truth, but you know, you never know. It's better to check it yourself and it only takes a couple of minutes as long as you get to your modem. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I know it's not much show and tell around here, uh, but this is a very plain and simple way to check your max data rate. Thanks guys, catch you later.